the Yay Awards? You a big fan? I am a huge fan. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Rooting, uh, rooting for the Greek. Of Greek. course. Yeah, I'm a, I'm a Bucks fan. I'm from Milwaukee, of so uh, we haven't had an NBA uh, MVP in a while, so. Right. Not well, since Kareem, who I just actually saw, which was pretty cool. Did you meet him? I did not meet him, but he is a Bachelor fan. He's been on the. He was on Rachel's that's season. Right. That's so. right. Okay, who are you going to geek out when you get to shake their hand tonight? I try not to geek out. I'm a Charles Barkley fan who's right there, too, so that's pretty cool. Uh, epic. Yeah. I and I try to pretend I don't care, but inside, you know? Of course. You have to care a Charles little bit. Charles Barkley. Uh, of course. i got to get your thoughts. Are you watching this season of The Bachelorette I with Miss Hannah? I am. I think she's doing great. Yeah. yeah. How about, what do you think? You know, no one cares what I think. We want to know what you think. Um... You know, she's been very outspoken, and she's talked a lot about sex and religion, topics that are perhaps taboo in some parts of the world. What do you think of her kind of taking that that avenue? I think it's excellent. I mean, everyone knows I, I tend to say what's on my mind. Um, I, I think she's a, a, a very authentic person, and I think it's, it's almost hard for her to be inauthentic, which I really enjoy. Um, and I think it's good. I mean, I, I think the kind of paradox of someone like Hannah, who's been, out, been outspoken about her faith, which I think is is great, but also sometimes, um, you know, that sometimes makes us feel judged and shamed. And, and, and uh, I think she's been open about this. And I think she's been a role model for a lot of young women who maybe come from a, a traditional um, upbringing. And, and it's okay to kind of liberate yourself. So I think it's great. And I think she's doing a fantastic job. Have you reached out to her? Are you? She was on my podcast, so I got a chance to meet her and interview with her, and uh, she was very open in, in that episode. And it was, uh, I thought she was great and vulnerable, and so I, I really enjoyed, uh, you know, talking to her. What surprised you most about her? Surprised me most? I had high expectations for Hannah, but um, she she really is. Um, a lot of people like to say uh, uh, mature for their age, but I. I from what I talked to, she has a really good head on her shoulders for being 24, yeah. and um, I thought that was impressive. I gotta get your thoughts on the whole controversy with Jed and the ex-girlfriend. Right? Have you been following this? I have. What are your thoughts? What the fuck, Jed? <laughs> um, Where I, does uh, the truth lie in all of it? I don't know. I mean, I don't. I don't have any inside information, but there seems to be some hard-hitting evidence. That I, you've been I, you've been uh, checking out on etonline.com. I have. <laughs> I only get my news <laughs> from ET. Um, yeah, I mean, didn't you guys interview, didn't uh, yeah. um, Lauren interview her? Yes. Um, Did you feel that it, she was authentic? And listen, I will say that I didn't I didn't get a chance to watch that interview, but uh, I will say this, I, as someone who's been on the show, I have had, you know, friends of friends who get who are going through the casting process surprisingly uh, ask my opinion about going through it, who admit that they're actually dating someone and, and toy with the concept of... Uh, doing what what yeah, Jed yeah. did and I it, it is surprising to me uh, I, I sometimes wonder if uh, you know past few years with the rise of social media uh, for all the the criticism that people over the years have gotten for right reasons I think it's I think it's a little bit more uh, justified these days because people I mean that's not the first time someone's done this but um, it's pretty aggressive I don't know if you've seen tonight's episode but there is there's not an episode that Jed's in without a guitar or a piano it's like so it's almost like the perfect episode you've already seen tonight's episode I mean, I was, I was, you get screeners I I have a podcast and a, and a great relationship <laughs> with the franchise as someone who is the bachelor okay um, but yeah I'm a, I'm a it's disappointing and uh, I, I hope for Hannah's well I mean I don't know actually what happened so but if uh, he's going far yeah Okay. So, I don't know. And you know that. It's my I mean, it seems like it. Okay. I have no inside information, but okay. as a, someone who is a viewer, it seems like he's a front runner. Okay. Don't you think? Uh, yeah, I do. I do think I would, so. I, I would assume he's top their, their four. Conne their connection is very palpable. I do want to ask you about a friend of yours, Dean Unglert. He revealed he's living in a van. Yeah, I see and his he's, van. Okay, so yeah. what, what's it like? How's he doing? <laughs> I don't think it'll last. Why? It's a van. But he's free spirited. He, he is. seems to be. You know, really yearning for he's this sort of adventure. He's spirited in the sense that he's the type of guy who would try to live in a van. Sure. Um, Are you going to join him at all? No, no. I have seen it. I mean, I don't. It's what's wild. what's in there? A bed and a t I think a TV. He. I mean, listen. I, Dean is a he's a great guy. He's a very interesting guy, and uh, he it sounds like he was raised in a situation where he had a kind of a a lifestyle that was conducive to that. So um, I give him a lot of props. I will say this about Dean. He. 
he is his own person and he's comfortable in his own skin to, to be that person when he could easily be intimidated to do that. So I give him props. So. Do you know what the plan is? Is it just to drive aimlessly or is there a routine? He travels the world. I mean, I wish I had that type of independence that Dean has sometimes, but uh, I think he's just going to, he'll probably do it for the summer and then probably give up. Well, I think he's just going to travel. Yeah. yeah and just enjoy life. Speaking of independence, are you an independent man? Are you a single man? What's the, the latest with your relationship status? Uh, I am single. My, I, I had a hot date lined up, and then she booked a gig and couldn't come, so I brought my buddy. Who was your hot date? I can't. I'm not going to say. Do we know her? Is she an actress, singer? A little something something? Uh, she, she, she couldn't make it, so. Uh, yeah. <laughs> what's, the, what's the latest with you? Um, just. Uh, I am doing some acting. I have a show coming out called The Coop. Uh, it's a Funnier Die production. Um, I'm not sure when it comes out. I think sometimes this year. With my girl Katie Keefe, right? Uh, yeah. That's right? Yeah. I love that. Um, and uh, my podcast, Vile Files, and then my essential oil company keeps me real busy with natural habits. So uh, I've been staying busy. It's going really well. And, you know, just trying to keep my head on my shoulders. 